Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So, in the series of learning C++ programming language, we are discussing vectors in C++. In the previous video, we have seen different different functions, what we can perform on vectors, the member functions, right? Now, uh, we will be seeing two to three problems like you can see coding exercises on vectors, right? So, these are three uh, questions. First, this is the vector from 1 to 10 and you have to erase all the even numbers from this vector, right? In next question, we have two vectors and you have to swap the values of these two vectors. Next is, this is the vector and you have to sort this vector, right? So, take the screenshot of the, these three questions, pause the video and try this out right now. Now, before jumping to the solution, I just want to share an exciting news for all the GATE aspirants. See, yesterday there was an event of an academy, GATE Champions Conclave 2024. The link of that event also I have shared on my Instagram story day before yesterday and in my telegram uh, channel also i hope many of you have joined their live stream and you have watched that event it was a great event where they have invited all the top rankers, gate rankers, all India rank 1, all India rank 3, who were students of an academy of all the branches, right? So maybe you can also be a part of this kind of event, maybe next year, just by st studying from the, you know, best of the educators in the industry with an academy. So here comes what is the exciting news because an academy is conducting a, an academy scholarship test for gate 2025 on 24th of March at 11 a.m. and time limit would be 45 minutes and you will get 30 questions in this test. And this was curated by their top educators, right? And you can enroll for this test freely. This is the best part. You don't need to pay anything to take this test, right? Plus one more thing, what is so special about this test? You have a chance to win up to 100% scholarship and some other rewards also like you have a chance to win Amazon vouchers worth, worth rupees 1000. Monthly free test with 30 practice questions. So how to enroll for this test, the enrollment link I'll put in the description box of this video, just click on that link and this type of page will be open in front of you, right? You just have to enter your mobile number and whenever you will click on enroll for free, you will get an OTP and you just verify on that thing, right? You just verify the OTP. So if you want to prepare for gate 2025, better to start early. So all the uh, relevant link and detail I'll put in the description box of this video, you can go and check out. Now let's get back to the solution part of our question. So I hope you have done these three exercises. Two are very simple. One is a little bit difficult, the first one. If not, it's okay. Let's try this out. So we are going to create a new file first. So vector values are given from 1 to 10 and you have to erase only even numbers. So yeah, we have a function, number function erase. We can use that in CPP, uh, sorry, in C++, in STL, we have this function erase, right? So you can pass here like a position, see, the position on which you want to delete the element, right? Iterator position or in a range also we can pass from first to last. The first is included, last one is not included, right? Okay. So for even we have to find out first like even, we will first make an iterator, okay? Because you have to, iterator is like obviously is going to point the element so iterator will, will give us the position the location right and in erase function we pass obviously the position iterator right so let's create an iterator first for the vector v and which is of type int right so same type we are going to take then this and iterator let's suppose the name i'm taking it or any name you can take right okay not righty, right, fine. Now let's suppose this it, uh, this iterator is at first, we are pointing this to the vector v dot begin, in beginning, right now this iterator is pointing to here, right? So find out the even number and erase those number. So we'll do, let's take a while loop while this iterator not equal to v dot end till then obviously we are going to repeat this while loop right 
now what in while loop we will do so let's check if if the iterator which is pointing to the location on that location if the value is even and how to check mode 2 is equal to is equal to 0 if the value is even then delete it otherwise just increase just you can uh, say increment the iterator right okay if now how to get the uh, value from uh, that location we have a dereferencing operator a strict if a strict it so it will give us the value right mode 2 equal to equal to 0 if this is the case then only we will call erase function means on this vector let us call erase and in erase we just pass the iterator means from this position you have to delete the element otherwise we are going to just do what increment the iterator it plus plus if erase that element like if iterator is at 2 then it will it is going to erase this element 2 right in that case no it plus plus because after erasing this element has been destroyed and these all these elements would be repositioned relocated so 3 would be here 4 would be here like one position before right so no need to increment the iterator after 2 now iterator is here and it is pointing to 3 right but that if it is not even number like 1 iterator is at first at 1 but this is not even number so increment the iterator now it is at 2 right then erase it okay i hope you got this so you can just dry run this thing write down this code on a piece of paper and dry run this and after that just print the vector so we'll, we have many method to print the vector one more we'll discuss in this video that i think we have forget to discuss we can use a range based for loop right so auto means it, it will automatically detect the data type suppose i'm taking uh, in, uh, any variable name n and from vector v or auto element here anything you can a b c element or anything right but this is from where you want to take the values from vector the name is v so here should be v right now one by one we are going to print c out just n with some space right so at first you know the working of range based for loop from v first the one first element would be assigned to this area variable n then one would be printed the next element next element next element till the end of that container obviously vector is a container so let's run this i hope it works okay i have just selected that thing let's run this see 13579 all even number has been erased right i hope you got this this was not so much tough let's try now the second one so these two vector we have and you have to swap the values of these things so simply we have a member function swap you can just check out here uh, i think uh, we haven't discussed this swap in previous video so let's discuss this thing it is going to exchange the, con the content of container by the content of x which is another vector object of the same type size may differ right okay if you're not getting in simple definition we are going to swap the element of vector one with vector two or vector two with vector one you can say like this right so let's call this suppose on vector one or vector two we can call vector one dot swap and in bracket with which vector i want to swap vect two and simply print for vector one and vector two range based for loop we can take we can use or iterator we can use or anything we can use using at you can uh, access all the elements at function many ways are there to access the values of these vectors so just call swap and we are just printing using range based, range based function these two vectors let's run this and see what you are getting okay let's just write down vector one and vector two after swap so that you can just you can understand it 
okay let's just uh, use a slash in here or handle you can use see vector 1 after swap is this vector 2 after swap is this but before swapping this 1 2 3 4 this was vector 1 this was vector 2 so it's very simple right now third sorting just call an algorithm sort but for that we have to include another header which is algorithm this header here we have all those algorithms searching sorting and all right so so for sorting also you don't need to write down the complete code for sorting right we simply have a function a member function sort you can just call that and this vector would be sorted so this is like beauty of using stl right it is going to save a lot of your time right so just call this c sort but if you do not include this algorithm sorry this header we are not able to use this sort c s o r t there is no sort right now so you have to include this header algorithm to use all the algorithms right from that stl sort and what is the syntax from beginning to end you want to sort right see random access of uh, iterator first and then last so from beginning to end so from vect the vector name is here vect1 so vect1 dot begin from begin to vect sorry 1 dot end from beginning to end we want to perform sorting and simply we can just print the vector 1 the values of all the vector 1 after sorting let's run this and see what output we are getting here see minus 1 2 4 10 60 79 sorted vector right so these i think two was very simple right first one was a little bit tricky and obviously this one we haven't discussed swap and sort that is why we have you uh, we have discussed right right now the coding exercises on these algorithms and these member function right i hope you got this right so that's it for this video now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care